my leg over it. This feels really, really hot between my thighs. Hello. My whole body vibrates and shudders uncontrollably. The man wearing nothing but black leather puts his arm around my waist and whispers in my ear. Don't worry, riding this is perfectly normal, he says. The other man just looks on maintaining a stony silence. I turn to Bono and the Edge and mutter, Thank you for my new Harley Davidson motorbike, boys. This is a real thrill on my final night hosting The Late Late Show. Thank you. Fifty Shades of Gay The tension is mounting as I press her further to give me the answer I am looking for. She hesitates again, but after I look deep into her eyes, she relaxes. As I place my microphone closer to her lips, her head bobs up and down. Hello. Yes, it's clear for all to see that Mary Robinson is enjoying her time with me on the Late Late Show. I glance into the wings and see the dark, lustful figure of Pat Kenny eager to take my place and get in on the act. No thank you, Pat. No room for a third wheel. Thank you. Gay's got one for everybody in the audience. I am titillated by this exotic bird. She hands me some rope, but what she wants me to do with it, I don't know. This bird is smoking hot. I know this because she violently douses herself with a jug of water. Hello. This bird always has a rod close by at all times. I bend over to put the rope on the ground when suddenly I am bitten on the behind. Thank you. Without warning, the wild-eyed bird wrestles me to the floor. Stop! Stop! I yell. This crazy bird is not listening. Get off! Get off! I continue. Finally, after achieving her goal, the bird gets off. I'll never forget that night when Rod Hull and Emu attacked me on the Late Late Show in 1977. Saucy stuff. Oh! Thank you! The Strawberry Alarm Clock on FM 104.